this was the biggest environmental court judgment ever in history anywhere in the world. The Ecuadorian court found that Texaco, which was later acquired by Chevron, had left behind hundreds of pits filled with waste oil and had dumped literally millions of gallons of polluted water into the streams and the rivers in the rainforest, causing pollution, sickness, and even death to the people who live there. The judge in New York ruled that the lead plaintiff's lawyer, a New York lawyer named Stephen Donziger, had bribed judges, twisted arms, faked evidence, and generally operated as if he was more like a mob boss in the rainforest than he was a real lawyer. Stephen Donziger has become both one of the most celebrated and the most notorious plaintiff's lawyers of this era. He is seen as a rock star in environmental circles and is literally friends with really big time celebrities because he's the one who has forced this huge judgment against Chevron. On the other hand, he is seen as villain number one by many corporate lawyers and big corporations because he exemplifies in their eyes this tendency of plaintiff's lawyers to twist the evidence in order to extract huge judgments from corporate defendants. How was an American oil company allowed to operate for decades in the rainforest in Ecuador following almost no environmental rules or regulations, with almost no oversight, when American lawyers finally did show up and declared themselves the heroes of the day, the vindicators of the poor, they ended up bending the rules and in fact undermining the rule of law in the name of defending the victims in, in Ecuador. And today, the poor people in Ecuador are no better off than they were when this whole drama started.